I got seven folks waiting. All right, welcome everybody to Northwest Ham Shack. We're going to get started off here with the two meter crew anti net tonight. We've got uh, Chris is going to be our uh, net coordinator, so go ahead and take it away, Chris. Oh, he's muted. Oh, you're yep. muted, Chris. Oh, no. I'm going to ask him to unmute. Oh, my goodness. How could I mute myself? All right. We we saved everybody from the uh, the last 14 seconds of your speech. So We're, we're going to start, start right from the beginning. <laughs> All right. Take Good evening. You're, you're traveling, traveling through another dimension, dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind, a journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. That's a signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the two-meter crew anti-net. Tonight we'll be streamed live on the hottest new YouTube channel this side of the Rockies. Not only is Northwest Ham Shack the fastest growing ham radio channel on YouTube, it's home of the, some of the best looking operators on the air. Leading this ragtag team is the brains behind the Northwest Ham Shack, our own KN6DAL, Nick. Just log into YouTube, search for Northwest Ham Shack, and you'll find the live stream. Be sure to subscribe. Don't miss out on any action, and you better smash that thumbs up, or we'll know. Tell your other hand friends, get on board with the two meter crew anti net every Thursday night. So, hey, Nick, what's going on? How are you tonight? I'm going good. I'm doing good, Chris. I'm trying to, uh, trying to take on that introduction. That's, uh, that's quite the thing to follow, but, uh, no, things are, things are going good up North. Um, yeah, I uh, got a lot of cool, cool little projects going on and, uh, I'm excited to share them with you. So. Oh, hold that thought because you know we're going to talk about projects tonight. It's going to be cool, man. All right. Well, let me introduce you to the gang here. A vision of beauty and evil straight out of a 70s cult horror movie. I'll be your anti-master of ceremony tonight, the self-proclaimed Sergeant at Arms, N6CMB. I'm Chris in Clayton, California. Now, they say he's got an all-star node embedded in his skull. He's a master of digital, and he's no slouch in the analog world. Our very own top nerd and mastermind, WG5EEK. Mike, how about an update on what's working, what's broken, and what's in the works? Yeah, so um, we got something that's working. It's <laughs> yep, got that working. DMR, YSF, Echo Link, and, of course, Analog is already there, so just building on that. Oh, and my Echo is behind me talking to me, so, you know, my, my house is fully wired and uh, ready to go for anything. Uh, but what we got in the works, uh, I'm going to keep it a secret for now, but it's Ooh. nothing too big. Uh, I just, I just don't want to, you know, uh, you know, blow the cover on it just yet, but, uh, it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, nothing ground breaking, but it's cool to me. So yeah, yeah. I'll just you know, it'll be cool for us then. All right. We're looking yeah. forward to future yeah. updates. Yep. Uh, just ID WG5 EEK. All right. Hiding behind that epic and glorious beard, fueled by microbrews and broadcasting from a real professional studio. Men want to be him. Women want to be with him. Treat him right. You might just find a two-meter patch in your inbox. KM6, ZTH, Justin. Justin, what's going on, dude? When are we going to get some stickers out of that website? I am in need. You need some stickers, huh? Well, then I guess we'll have to get busy over our Thanksgiving uh, week and see what we might be able to offer folks right to uh, figure out uh, where people want to go and things they want to play with so you hear I, I played up that whole professional studio thing and your audio's down a little bit but you do have a cool microbrew you're sounding a little weak and quiet over there a little meek there we go a little adjustment no no, no that's the wrong way the wrong direction <laughs> <laughs> we broke the audio or Justin's having a laugh on our behalf. We're going to have to leave him behind, and you're going to have to work on that. Bring yourself back, Justin. All right. Hailing from parts unknown, this newcomer is rumored to have built his own satellite just to use for APRS. Before someone happened to mention to him, hey, dude, you can just use GPS. KN6KIE, what are you doing with all the money you saved from not having to use rocket fuel to launch that thing into orbit? Oh, God. Um, I am actually got a couple projects going myself. I, uh, I did upgrade that APRS, um, so I should get a lot more signal here in town, as well as um, I have been hacking and slashing at uh, All Star. Uh, like Mike could say, I've been uh, jumping on and off his uh, repeater today, and uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. 
We may have to do an all-star uh, node night again because uh, some of us are starting to get into it here. I've got my my gear just showed up from Amazon uh, order. I've got a radio and a and a, uh, a computer here to get uh, my all-star node set up. So I'm getting excited uh, as well to get set up. So maybe we'll do another all-star node night. Definitely shit. All right. Well, somehow we find ourselves lucky enough to get continuous support from the owners and supporters of the W6 VVR repeater. I kind of pinch myself and wonder why they would actually allow us out here every week, but they do. And part of it's because of the cool people over at the Back of Valley Radio Club. You ought to think about joining if you're anywhere in the area. I drive a long way to be part of the VVR because all the cool stuff's going on over there. Hey, thanks, guys, for letting us get together once a week to continue to rock the ham world. Now, don't forget... Uh, for those of us that are close to the repeater, or even if you're getting in on a digital mode, the repeater is available for everyone to use when there's no anti-net going on. That means all the digital modes remain connected. So tune in, and most of all, push to talk. Someone will be out there waiting to talk to you, I guarantee it. So before we completely take over the airwaves, I do want to put in there, if there is any priority traffic at any time, let us know, call out for a break, and we'll make the repeater available for emergency use. The two meter crew on that meets every Wednesday at 7 p.m. No, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Geez, I had the old script here. Someone was supposed to fix that. I'm going to talk to the staff. This is an open anti net, and everybody is welcome. Please feel free to join in. In fact, we really encourage you to do that. It's a lot more fun when you guys jump in whatever mode you can get in on. We've made it easy. We've got the live stream on Northwest Ham Shack on YouTube. You can access us through the W6 VVR repeater in Vacaville, California, 145.47 PL, 127.3. We've got Echolink at WG5EEK. We've got DMR at 314.964. All-Star Link, I think there's two of them, 51094 and 51010. Our new addition to the digital family is a YSF reflector, 24033. And remember, Two Meter Crew, when we wrap up on the air here tonight, everyone is going to come over to Zoom and continue talking ham for a little bit. If you join us, I am sure we can break Nick's uh, Zoom account. So let's give it a try tonight. The Two Meter Crew is not an actual club. We're a bunch of hams that are learning and enjoying all things ham related. There's no dues or fees to be a Two Meter Crew member. For more info, you can check out the 2MC on Facebook. Speaking of which, any chance that uh, Derek K6DJV, aka the Green Donkey, is available tonight? You just never know with a donkey. Sometimes we catch him. Sometimes with this early darkness, he's well into his slumber when we get on the air. Uh, Nick, you don't happen to know where we're at with the members of the Two Meter Crew uh, Facebook page, do you? No, I can uh, I can look it up though. I I left a break there to see if. If Derek was available, um, he's uh, he's uh, I don't know how to describe it, but he's a, a lucid spirit. <laughs> sometimes you <laughs> sometimes you find him, sometimes you don't. Um, and I forgot to text him tonight, but we are What's at whoa! Look at that, we're at two hundred and ninety-one members on the. Oh Twitter come on now! How are we going to break three hundred? We got to we got to do something members, to break three hundred. So, um, if anybody's out there on the air or uh, or watching on YouTube or in any of the digital modes, go to 2MC uh, and, on Facebook and, uh, and answer just a couple of quick questions, and we'll get you logged in there. Let's see if we can break 300 tonight. I don't think that's a problem. Um, oh, that would be great if we could. Let's get everybody to jump over there. There's a lot of good uh, back and forth on that. Uh, I find it, it great. And, uh, of course, we're also over on Discord. So those two spots are where you can get the uh, behind-the-scenes info on the two-meter crew. All right. I have a little bit of news uh, for the locals out here. There are uh, a, a couple of new Yesu Fusion repeaters in town. Uh, the first one that went up um, is a Wires X repeater up in Concord, California. And the call sign may sound familiar to you. It's KD6KWV. That's right. Our own Bobby Lee has got his uh, digital repeater up and running. The output's 441-TAC-050, and the repeater input is 446-TAC-050. And currently, there's no PL. Uh, I've been listening to it for a couple of days. Uh, it's a brand new repeater, and there's already a little traffic out there. So uh, if you guys got a way to jump on uh, Fusion, I, I, I recommend you jump on that repeater if you can. Now, expanding the footprint, K6BIV put up another YSX repeater over in the Pittsburgh Marina. So you might try that one if you can't reach Bobby's. 
Uh, that one can be found on 441 TAC 925, and the input is 446 TAC 925. No PL there either. So join the Yesu Fusion Revolution. I want to reach out and see if anybody else has any announcements about activities coming up, nets they want to promote, you know, whatever, uh, whatever's, whatever you're up to uh, that you might want to invite someone to or maybe tell somebody about an on-air event. Now's the time. All right, you guys are uh, kind of boring, man. Nothing good going on. I thought you at least have something going on. Jeez. Well, we'll uh, we'll keep asking every week, and hopefully, you guys will bring something forward to us. Today is Thursday, the nineteenth of November, twenty twenty, on November nineteenth, eighteen sixty three, at the dedication of a military ceremony cemetery at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, during the American Civil War. President Abraham Lincoln delivers one of the most memorable speeches in American history. In fewer than 275 words, Lincoln brilliantly and movingly reminded a war-weary public why the Union had to fight and win the Civil War. On this day in history, President Lincoln delivered the Gettysburg Address. With that, guys, we're going to move into our uh, whatever you want to call it for tonight, our topic or discussion. So, you know, Nick uh, lives up north, as you guys might be aware, up where it gets cold and snowy. So he's uh, he's already starting to feel the, the effects of winter. So uh, he was thinking, hey, let's talk about winter projects, you know. There's winter projects like putting your studded tires on or winterizing your lawnmower. Those are the projects that kind of get you ready for winter. But then there's the winter projects, you know, the ones you've been thinking about all summer long in your head that you can only execute when you find the weather keeps you inside and focused. Like finally pulling the heads off your 38 knucklehead or programming your Raspberry Pi to make margaritas or upgrading the power supply in your shack. So tonight, what we're going to talk about is what you guys got planned for those long, dark winter months. Let's hear about your winter ham radio projects. I can start something. I um, I just built a new power supply as well out of a server uh, power supply. Actually, I've uh, been looking for something in my garage as most of my stuff is sitting right here. Uh, again, you know, talking to Mike, he's built a couple of these and uh, recommended a specific HP power supply. So put that together. Um, I have to admit, I've got the ugliest uh, solder points you've ever seen. Looks like Metal Dookie. Uh, but the thing works, so I can't really complain about it. And uh, pretty psyched to have like uh, expanded coverage in my garage. That's cool. Mike, any chance you could share one of those links again of like maybe some of the websites where you recommend power supplies? I know uh, I could probably build one. Probably going to need one for this uh, All Star node. I don't have a spare power supply because I'm going to I'm going to keep the All Star node eventually separated from my shack. Actually, so. Um, and uh, it would be cool to have a place where I knew I could grab one of those. I remember uh, our uh, ham radio TV had a great video on that, uh, building those power supplies. It was cool stuff. Yeah, I can share some stuff in the chat, and then uh, I can send it to you later if, uh, if, you, if you can't check it. So, yeah, no big deal. Hey, uh, Justin, are your audio working again? We got audio working now. Yeah, you sound better. Hey, there you're telling us maybe we're not so copyable on the output? Are we? Uh, are we sounding dog crap on the on the uh, repeater? Yeah, we, we probably uh, have people not able to uh, understand the words that are coming out of our mouths. Oh no! What do we got going? Maybe we need to do a little uh, uh, technical troubleshooting here while we're uh, live troubleshooting here from the northwest northwest ham shack. Yeah, we're on uh we're on a different radio tonight. So, uh I'm hooked up uh I'm not hooked up to a battery supply and uh and I'm not running the the HT for the node radio. So, I I wonder if that's the problem, but I haven't uh I haven't hear, experienced any any uh other issues with it yet. So, I don't uh, I don't know where it's coming from. But well, we've yet to have uh, a single person check in uh, and actually speak on the air. So we either have nobody listening, which is a 
definite yeah. possibility. Or uh, maybe there's something going on with it. Hey, guys, could we get uh, anyone out there on the repeater uh, to chime in? Let us know how bad we sound. K-N-6-D-A-L, testing the radio. That sounds like it was when, when the radio was plugged into the charger that time. Yeah, I'm honestly picking it up a little bit um, on on the receive as well when, when I receive it from my node radio. So uh, that could be it. I'm, I'm going to uh, see if I can switch out the radio really quick. So uh, stand by just a second. Well, for those of us on uh, YouTube, we can keep chatting, I think, on the Zoom, and it should still go out. Hopefully it won't uh, cut off the live stream. So this is as real as it gets, you know, when you're – Oh, we're hearing them. We're hearing the radio. That's good. Yeah, we're. Uh, this is as real as it gets, you know, a little technical difficulties and troubleshooting on the fly. Uh, I had that same problem when I was doing the Zello connection. You remember that, Mike? Uh, whenever I would put the radio on the charger, uh, it was a high, it was a top end radio. I think it was a, a Baofeng, so it was high end radio. Uh, whenever you put it on that that uh, charger, it would just sound like terrible. I can't hear Mike. Now that. Now that Nick's gone, sorry, we can talk sorry, a lot sorry. of smack about him. I had my, I had my yeah, mic. Well, I'm still here. Uh, uh, yeah, so if you, <laughs> yeah, if you have everything on the same server, you're going to have probably, or I mean on the same circuit, you're probably going to have issues. <clears throat> For me, like all my stuff in my garage runs on a separate circuit than pretty much the rest of my house because that's the way it's built. So I don't, I normally don't have that issue. Um, but yeah, I could see like, yeah, if you're running that Zello test with that Balfang uh, and having those uh, that charger on there, it, it'd probably cause some back feed or feedback into it so i, I think that 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 uh Baofeng charger is pretty noisy in, in and of it's itself you know charger, no though. i'm yeah, wondering it, if it's uh... I, I had a similar issue like on my uh in my truck i got one of those cheap like usb cigarette lighter chargers and when i plugged it in it was fine but as soon as i connected my phone or anything else to charge to it my fm radio in my in, in my my truck like you couldn't receive anything and i was like that's weird as soon as i unplugged the charger it would come back full 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 nor uh like full signal so what it was there's like a little diode or resistor or something that they cheap out on that costs like a penny but you know they want to save that little penny when they sell it to you so i found another one that was you know like i don't know 20 cents more i bought online and it, i plugged that one in and it worked fine so there is there is ways to you can either add it yourself or just get a different source of power so right nick how you making out uh, um, he's he's gonna be he, a minute because he's, he's gotta, a ways away. He's got to swap the radio. He's gonna change some config stuff in All Star. So he's we're probably gonna just have to cure it for the next I don't know five minutes or so. Uh, Mike, do you have a, a an HT or something you can hit the VVR and let I people know that we will be back? Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Keep a little update out there. This is WG five EEK. I'm going to attempt to at least hold my mic up to the the speaker and you guys can hear. Uh, so yeah, we'll try that. This is WG five EK. Uh, I'm going to let it drop for a second. If anybody has something to say, go for it now. Otherwise, uh, that's what, that's what the plan is. Well, let's, uh, let's give it a test, right? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Let's see how it talks. This is WG5. All right. So we're going out through your mic now. Is that where we're set up for? Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. We'll give it a test. Old school. Hold the old, uh, HD up to the speaker. In, uh, I can pull VBR in here. Hold on. I have that wired up. I just gotta think it through here. Yeah, maybe That's Justin. I'll have better luck. Seventy-one hundred. All right. Yeah, Frank said my my audio sounded okay. How does it sound now, Frank? If you're if you're listening still, does it sound okay through the HT while we're doing some adjustments through the YouTube? Yeah, still good. Okay. All right. <laughs> And then, well, we got to get you going, Justin, anyway, in case you need to play Super Backup Studio at some point, right? Apparently so. 
Yeah. Sooner rather than later, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we should have had that sooner rather than later. That's right. Well, anyway, we're going over winter projects. You know, I haven't really thought out my winter all that much yet. I'm uh, kind of up in the air. I, I do have some big projects. I picked up a... Uh, oh, who we got? That was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I picked up a, uh, a tower, a used tower from one of the club members at VDR, and uh, that's going to be uh, one of my big projects. I probably won't do that over the winter, but I'm hoping to get uh, uh, that up with a beam on it and uh, probably a vertical uh, UHF antenna at the top so that I can uh, add another Yes New Fusion uh, repeater up there uh, and continue to build this little uh, fusion network that we're building out here. And that's what I want to try to figure out is I have that uh, Rock 64 that I got on Amazon for like 15 bucks. And I want to see how hard it is to build up that XLX uh, because obviously I'm going to be moving here, you know, in the next half a year. And I want to, you know, I want to make sure that I know how to do that. And if anyone else like you and I can get together and figure it out together while I'm still in the area, that way, you know, like you'll have it here and I'll have it where I go. Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. Well, yeah, I still got that Linux box that I was going to try to do a reflector in, so we could uh, we could try to get that going as well. Nick, you're back. Can you hear us? Uh, yeah, I'm back. Um, it, uh, all right, so we're sitting idle. I'm going to test it out here. KN6DAL. Let's see if uh, my audio is coming in any better now. Are we are we hearing anything? KN6DAL, just uh, checking the radio. Are we back? You didn't make it in there, Nick. Uh, somebody else was talking there. Yep, we got Kevin coming in. KN6DAL. Um, was listening. And um, the it sounded like the we were all getting into All-Star. Somebody was talking over the top. Of Nick, so let's all just be quiet for a little bit, and let's let Nick initiate the conversation, and then one person answer at a time. Okay, Nick. Got it. Okay, so everybody, uh, everybody, key down your or turn down your radios, and then I'm gonna key up. This is KN6DAL, seeing if we've got uh, audio coming through. Is there any background noise this time? Okay, that sounded way better. A couple of things are happening. What, what, whatever. Yeah, your your audio is a little bit low, but part of the problem is is there's the other repeater. They're they're talking on it tonight, and it's it's messing with us on our end. Okay, so yeah. can you give us a little more audio, please, Nick? All right, that's uh. That should be a little bit better. I cranked it up quite a bit. See if that's coming through a little bit better. KN6DAL. USB for this. Yeah, I don't have far deep red here. Nick, that's a lot better. Thanks for doing that. You sounded better now. All right. Well, I guess, or Nick, let me know when I'm back on. Give me the nod there. All right. This is Nick, KN6DAL. Sorry about the delay in game. Uh, so what happened was the node radio that I thought was working well was not, but luckily I had a backup one. Um, and, uh, that's what, uh, that's what we get for not buying high quality equipment, right? <laughs> it's all good to go back to you, Chris. All right. I'm going to start right back at the beginning and, and just do everything over. No, I'm just kidding. I won't, I won't do that, but, but I am, I am going to give, um, uh, VLF his introduction cause he, he missed out and I did have one for him. Uh, so you got to kind of imagine we're back at that part of the program where I'm introducing all of the uh, personality. Just skip, here. just skip me. And I say, I'm excited to introduce Ham Radio Royalty, the kingpin of the Vacaville Radio Club, El Presidente, hashtag the real president, hashtag how is my audio, the one and only N6VLF, a.k.a. very low frequency, Kevin, welcome aboard. Wow. I don't know if I can live up to that. Speaking of audio, your audio is hot, Super Chris. It is. See, no one ever tells me but you, you know? Your, your, audio, is, your, your audio is super hot. I think uh, I let it. Yeah, a little. Keep talking. I'm trying to turn it down, but I think it's on automatic. Oh, that's like, well, 
That might have been too too low. But too much. Here. Let me go just a touch up in here. How about that? I would say that's pretty dang, pretty 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 dang good. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. I would say it's super good. Thing in the upper left corner is that thing on on your Zoom? That's Which one in the upper left corner? There's a thing that says turn on, uh, like turn on original sound or turn off original. Well, sound. Justin, your audio is half the volume of all the other guys. Yeah, you're still a little low tonight. Well, I can fix that. You can. Well, I had the automatic adjust on. I'm going to turn that automatic adjust off. Uh, yeah, that's good. That better. There we go. That should be full scale. What about oh, mine? Not... Is that mine all right? You sound good, Mike. Everybody Mike sound... And, and Nick, just just. Just uh, actually, I like Greg's got the coolest hat, um, and uh, uh, and Nick, your 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 super duper uh, node radio is literally on the bench, and I want to finish it this weekend. Uh, this shack uh, desperately needs after, it right now. After, after this, we yeah, gotta finish it. All right, I earned it. <laughs> you, too, you more than earned it. We owe it to you now. Oh man. Anyway, well, that one's been uh, kind of a train wreck of a, of a show here tonight, but that's the way it goes sometimes on the anti-net. You just don't know what's going to happen. You know? it, Nick, it's, you inter- can, it's entertainment. That's why people are doing it. Yeah, we're, we're trying, trying things. things. Nick, you can use that other one as, a, as like a backup or a secondary one or something. You know, or yeah, the backup just switched, so now yeah. my backup's my primary. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can use that other radio to keep your uh, your car from rolling out of the driveway. <laughs> well, I was thinking, yeah, we'll talk <laughs> <laughs> that radio. That's awesome. That's what, that's what I do with my old radio. Or, <laughs> or like a like a good ham radio operator, I could use it as an experiment to learn why am I getting that noise on that radio and understand more Ooh. about it. You you could do that. You can you could send it to Kevin so he can blow it up no. on it. Maybe yeah, I could blow it. I blow, yeah, <laughs> leave it to Is me that, to do a demo and blow it up on the air. I have that I've radio. Done, is that radio in now. your shack, like with you and all your equipment right now? Yes. In the same yeah. room? The antenna is outside, though. Yeah, but like the radio itself is in the room with you? Yeah, and it's literally like on top of the pie, like right next to the pie. Yeah, dude, you can't. You can, They have to be pretty far apart with yeah. that radio. It's too much. So I'm going to separate. I don't think it's shielded. Yeah, I'll separate those, and uh, I'll, I'll just test a couple of different things out, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I'll also test it um, with with the cable configuration different, and we'll see what happens, because you're not experiencing that issue at all, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just my this dumb is, luck. This is exactly what ham radio operators do. Yeah. Nick Dude, was this is, telling this me is the other night that you got to have separation between the two. Of course, he told me that, but he's not doing it. Right? Did I say well, that? Yeah, you did. You I told totally me. did. You I do what I say, not rules. what I do. <laughs> and this is Nick's winter project. How do I make my node yeah. work properly? That's exact. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even write that down as my winter <laughs> winter project, but it is now apparently. All right, now we're still on the air. I I gotta see if we can get at least one someone to key up and tell us about a winter project. Like I know W one FRD is out there. Maybe he's got a winter project. But I think the, be someone uh, on the air radio. Yeah, no you you, right you unkeyed it or it quit transmitting. There it is. There you are. It was. Yeah, we're back. I just All see right. now that I have yeah. a foot pedal, I just keep my foot on it the whole time and forget about it. <laughs> Let me keep uh, you make a call out one more time. Anyone on the air on a digital mode, there's got to be at least one one person who can save this program from the from the absolute train wreck it is tonight and tell us about a winter project you've got. Call out, call out for Bill, who came in on. Uh, I think he's heard uh, uh, Mac out there. I didn't catch that. That sound like Frank. Just ignore yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to call some people out now. W1 FRD, I know you're out there. I don't care whether you don't have a winter project or not. Key up and let us know that there's life on Mars. I don't think he caught your caught his call out. That was uh, W1FRD. You're up. Give us something. Try to get that to work, and then I realize I really need a uh, open spot or some kind of my own device hooked to the uh, internet and try to learn DMR. I may go with the system fusion with all the repeaters going up though. But yeah, that's, that's my fun. winter project. Learn some digital. Are we keyed up? 
Yeah. All right. Well, that's good, Fred. I, I think uh, I like the idea of the uh, fusion because we're we're trying to get a few repeaters linked up and actually getting some people talking out there on these things. Um, and then eventually uh, I'm going to try to talk him into connecting them up with uh, some reflectors and things and start to spread the uh, the two meter crew when we when we send Mike uh, out there to Arkansas. Um, he's going to infiltrate for us, you know, try something new. Um, all right. Mm-hmm. What else? It's got to be someone other than W1 FRD out there listening. Who else is on the air and wants to jump in tonight? I got my volume all the way up, barely hearing you. Your audio is very low, too, out to the repeater. And I'm on, uh, I'm on our, uh, our shared audio. Is my audio uh, okay, or should I bump it a little bit? You sound Just pretty good stage. to me, but I can crank this. going to give it a little touch right moving. there. Hopefully it's not too hot. If it is, Kevin's going to let you know. Chris, turn your audio up, and I'm pretty sure I heard Matt coming in from Japan a little bit ago when Nick started to have his audio issues. So uh, you might want to see if he's uh, out there listening. And thanks, Kevin. I appreciate the love there. <laughs> that's that's okay man that's okay what really matters is does my is my headset mic working now that's yeah, what it really, that's what really matters well what listen you- uh, let's let's give a break then to uh the digital modes and see if mac from japan is there he's uh checked in in the past uh briefly let's see if he is still out there or if he had to leave uh we got anyone checking in from japan tonight There's Bill, Bill, Bill in um, Texas. Texas. He was on. Uh, he was low on a half hour before we started, so he might be a. Bill might be out there. <laughs> Are we keying ourselves tonight? No, uh, I'm, I I have control of the key. Whenever you guys want to talk. Oh, okay. I'm no, I, I, call I, somebody connected via All Star K zero four F N H. <laughs> All right, let me uh, get Keith back up there. Nick, you got to give me like a nod or a, yeah, go ahead, a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to <laughs> say go ahead every time? Anywhere, we need, we need some. Could, could we get like a little red light like they do in the, in the on-air studios? So you know, I should talk to. Uh, I think it was Brian uh, from uh, from VVR. He had a little symbol that he put up in the top left hand corner i don't know how he put that up in zoom but that was kind of funny i I could probably ask molly she could probably show me how to do that uh she could probably show me how to set my note up so that it works for the anti-net too (laughs) go ahead chris well um yeah we're gonna go back out um you know it is the anti-net obviously maybe the topic of winter projects is not stirring everybody's uh, excitement there so you know it's the internet net uh anyone want to just check in or just uh, uh say hello or speak your mind speak your peace like uh bring it now's the time while we're still on the air uh, we are going to be going to zoom soon and everybody's welcome to join us there too but while we're out there on the repeater i'd like to uh, like to see if there's any life on mars who's out there our six bbq Go ahead, BBQ. Yeah, uh, BBQ, the repeater's yours. Go ahead. Oh, hey, it's Mike. Uh, I just wanted to check in, say hi. I uh, don't really have any project plans for the wintertime. Uh, I'll probably build a uh, antenna or two i'm pretty intrigued by how antennas work and all that so um you know still learning that stuff i like to build them and play with them i gotta say that's an awesome uh call sign by the way bbq making me hungry already (laughs) (laughs) yeah he posts a lot of stuff about uh barbecues in um in uh in the discord chat so uh if you guys are looking to learn how to cook he's the guy it's making me think the chicken pot pie i have cooking in the house just isn't going to be good enough <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Fred coming. 
Here we go, Fred. Jeff. Fred. This is uh, Nick K and Six DA. I'll just uh, throw out there. I put the Zoom link in um, in YouTube, and we are fairly confident that Zoom works. And so, if uh, if you want to jump in there, um, you can get a hold of us there because apparently the uh, repeater <laughs> and all the links aren't working tonight. It's work. It sounded uh, good. The last guy that came in. So the BBQ sounded great. Yeah. No. It's actually, it's getting better. Actually, actually, uh, uh, Frank up in uh, Cloverdale sounds good. So, uh, Frank, if you got your Zoom, you know, uh, jump in on Zoom uh, when we uh, when Nick opens it up, man. Yeah, the reason it's going to work is because it's not managed by us. Yeah, yeah. I had no yeah. business. <laughs> I had no business changing anything. I knew it. <laughs> what was I thinking? Did you know the rule? No, last night. Uh, I don't remember. We uh, Jason and I we touched something and we go on the air and one of the cameras was dead. You know, we're like, oops. Well, you know, Nick, I, I'm just beginning to see a trend here because first of all, you told me that you got to have separation between that radio and the antenna and blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, you didn't do it. And the first thing he told me tonight, how proud he was that he got new stuff. But he says, no, nope, I didn't make any changes to the equipment because I wanted to make sure everything was going to work just fine the, again. But just the audio side. That he did make changes to the equipment. Yeah, I got a I got a new mixer board, and I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up after the after the anti net. Um, maybe I should just rip all the cords out and set it up now. I mean, we're halfway through this whole thing, right? Why don't, Why don't you let us watch you do it, dude? <laughs> that'll be to, that'll be tonight's uh, tech night. We'll 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 watch you rebuild your studio uh, live. I mean, yeah. I'm, when I when I post this video up uh, after it loads from the from the live stream, I'm gonna rename it the anti tech night. <laughs> no, yeah, the no tech tech. Yeah. tech. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's working is everything not ham radio is working tonight. Everything everything that revolves around ham radio is broken and not working, right? Well, uh, BBQ sounded really good when I had the volume. Actually, through the oh, when when he came in through your receiver, Nick. And I heard him on Zoom. It was very clear because I am listening to all of you on a 37-inch JBL coaxial speaker. Yes, 37 inches, buddy. I, I'm lying. Yeah, Kevin, did I sound okay? <laughs> sure. Yeah, actually, actually, you do sound good. Who was that? That was my attention. Uh, Sprad. Did I sound all right on the repeater? Yeah, yeah you did. You said, yeah, right, you said good. And uh, Frank, I, uh, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna repeat this. Frank sounded good too. And um, <laughs> heard that. Uh, and uh, oh, damn, he's here. And then um, so did uh, BBQ. And part of it was somebody was keying. I think there was some confusion, and they were keying the, at the same time. And there's an other repeater that's somewhere that direction that kind of gets in. So we just had a uh, the perfect storm on ham radio. Well, I've had it keyed down the whole time. I think we all sound awesome now, so we're good. But uh, if, you, if you if you look over to see that with your right, and there's a little molten melted pile of plastic, we'll know there's something wrong. Yeah, the entire shack's on fire behind me right now. So, um, I'll put it. <laughs> Are out we on the air right now, though, Nick? We're yeah, we're on the air. I'll, I'll pass right, it back to well. you, Chris. You got uh, you got anything you want to throw out there? Well, you know, I think we're going to count our uh, our uh, blessings and, and call the, the RF night to a halt here a little early. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, get ready to turn the repeater back over to normal operation. Um, please join us next week when we're going to correct all these uh, problems we had tonight. No, we won't. I'll leave you guys uh, with a simple quote. Um, uh, hey, Chris, what, what are you doing, doing next Thursday? Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to drive 800 miles up to uh, the Great Northwest to fix this we problem. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen, you know. Oh, you so, guys, uh, are, we're, we're, we're going to skip, skip next week, week, Chris. I don't know. Am I? Are we off for next week? For, oh, yeah, I'm not skipping next week. What are you guys talking about? Thanksgiving? We're going to skip? It's Thanksgiving. I don't know. We're I, gonna give thanks for ham radios and for let's everything take a, that we <laughs> had in our ham life. Come on, what more could you well, be you guys, the dedication. You guys, are, you guys are wrong. I like, I like being married, man. I like being married. I think I'm going to keep my life. I, I'm more concerned that I'm not going to be awake sober or conscious by this hour. You Neither know, of those things are necessary. We never made any of those rules. And, okay. and, that, and <laughs> by the way, Justin, that could be part of our entertainment. Okay. Really. You uh, I'm Giving. 
All right. Are we going to make the official announcement then that we're off for a week? Is that uh, is that the plan at this? Well, point? I mean, I sound. I was going to say let's take a poll, but it sounds like we had a poll right there. So, all right. So, just because you guys want to stay married, we're going to go ahead and uh, and not have a uh, an anti net this week. All right. Well, let's get. Are you ready to shut down the RF? And Zoom is open, right? Yep. Zoom's open. Zoom's open. There's nobody that's on the repeater that can't join Zoom. You, all you need is a computer or a phone. So I want to get enough guys in here that Nick gets charged double for his Zoom account, and we need more people to do that. So let's get folks in here and just see how much we can crank up the charge. It'll be fun. I guarantee it. Well, I, I, I do have the paid Zoom subscription, so I think I have to be over 100 people. Um, well, we'll work on it. And there's not that many people watching right now. But the Let's the, do it. the great caveat is I have not gotten a thumbs down yet <laughs> this whole time. So <laughs> I'm wondering. Wait, is that a challenge? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> well, Nick, I no. go change it. Yeah, go for it. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's seven. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Go I'm going to leave us with uh, a simple short quote that's going to uh, send us out and take us off the repeater. We'll turn the repeater back to normal operations since... We obviously don't know how to handle the darn thing. Uh, so this one is, uh, what divides us pales in comparison to what unites us? And that was Ted Kennedy. So I'm going to leave you with that, and we're going to roll into Zoom. Please join us in Zoom. Did you give it back, Nick? I gave it back. I'm pretty sure the I club threw is going to take the repeater back and never let us use it again you after know, that. I, I'm, yeah. I, my door's cracked open, and I'm hearing cheering. Did we just did we just get, did we just get kicked off ham radio, you guys? I've, I've never heard that before. I'm pretty sure that I think the FCC might call and ask for their licenses back. I think yeah. this yeah. has not been yeah. Good. The FCC is going. Yeah, you want to you want to key up and like ID off, maybe. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll, I'll key in here real quick and uh, give the thank you here. So <laughs> thank you very much. For the uh, being out there in ham radio land, and uh, this is KM6EGH. All right, throw it out there. <laughs> Way to go, Justin. Yeah, W6WG5EEK and N6VLF. Thank you very much. Seven threes. <laughs> oh, you're leaving. Well, he was just cutting or ending no, us, I think, officially on the you know, uh, ending the RO. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. You know, make that was very well spoken. Like, it reminded me of, like, you know, like astronauts up in space, like, just that's right. saying goodnight to, you know, people uh, watching and listening. You know, that sounded very, very cool. So, good night, yeah. John Boy. <laughs> I was thinking the same I thing. I was actually Chris, thinking, yeah. I was thinking Justin could get a job doing, like, voiceover, you know, one of those commercials, no. like, uh, no. in a world where. You know, whatever, like a action action commercial or something like that. In a world where ham radio actually works, <laughs> not if I'm touching it, it's gonna we break. Will, I mean, that's we will audio, audio. My audio may suck, but Fred's Fred's lighting is the worst. So at least I got yeah. I got something. I it's, it's almost like dark. Dark. Can you tape a flashlight <laughs> to your top of your dashboard or something for us, Fred? There you yeah, go. The light, it's blinding me. <laughs> Fred's always doing. Fred's always you, doing the right thing. He's always. Aren't you? Are you in your car? Yeah, are I'm you, waiting for my son to finish at his uh, symphony practice. Up see, here that's, what I'm, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. He's always doing the right thing. You know, he's taking care of his kids. Yeah, and very clandestine. You know, so yeah. <laughs> Bert, Bert, did I hear you on the three three or the VVR the other day? Uh, just for a sec, just for my call sign probably. Not yeah, you, I know you never talk on there. I was like, "Holy macro, it's Bert! He's on the air." I was on there, but yeah, I mean, I think when everybody was like trying to trying to put their call sign out at one point, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll just drop it." Yeah, you jumped in. It was good to hear you, brother. Yeah, Bert does simplex with me often. Well, yeah, no one else wants to talk to you, Fred. So we asked Bert if he'd keep the company <laughs> over there. <laughs> in the get hey, I, he's getting off of work. I remember seeing Bert that you were uh, blowing up a radio the other day on Discord. Did you fix that thing? Um, possibly, possibly, <laughs> possibly, possibly. Well, I'll tell I the story still, now. Huh? Tell the story now. It's a catch out of the bag. So I, so I, I was messing with that FT one hundred and one, the one, that, the one you got, you got for me, and um, so I took, I replaced some caps off of one of the boards off of the 
Recti not the rectifier board. Yeah, the rectifier board. I went to go turn it on, and it's like, pop, right? And then I was like, and then zap, and then there's a trace now gone or whatever it is. Kind of thing. Did, it, did it release any magic smoke? Later on. Later on it did. So turn it off, clean it up again, see if, because it's something, I guess uh, when I was soldering or whatever, it, it like it like touched the, touched the wrong part. That was like gone, so I put a jumper from one cap to another cap, and I mean that's like a 600 volt um, trace right there. So I was like, once I saw it, like flash and whoa, that kind of thing. I'm gonna turn it off. But yeah, I think I got that all figured out. <clears throat> you think you're back up and running, or are you, have you tested it? Um, I, I I turned it on last week, and you know I I said that I was. I turned it on with like a three foot PVC pipe <laughs> to the switch or whatever, and I turned it on just to, just to make sure it wasn't going to do I thought, it again. I thought you had kids, Bert. You can't send one of them over to the <laughs> <you know, laughs> that switch. <laughs> you seem to never be around when I want them to do something. <laughs> kids are funny like that. Yeah. Look, let me let me adjust my my high voltage camera. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, I think I got that mostly figured out. I just have to um, align it for everything else, like the ten meter and everything like that. I think I think fifteen to eighty, I think is fine. But anything that's below ten is like off. What's off? What do you think's off, Bert? <clears throat> well, they had they had two two crystals in there that were for. 11 oh. meters, like it's, no. like it's just above the 11, so it's like, I forget what, what frequency it is, but it's, it's, it's the frequency is like right below 10 meter, like from like 100 megahertz, I think. And, and well, then, right um, below 10 meters is yeah. 27 megs, which is a CB band, right? Yeah. So they had those crystals in the AB oh. or 10 meter. CB guy had that radio. Yeah, so it did, so you don't have... The version that actually had the 11, 11 meters on the knob, do you? No, it does have it does have the eleven on there. It does. Yeah. So why would they do that? Why would they put eleven meter crystal? Oh, they put they put you know, it higher funny ways. funny crystals. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you have a do you have a uh, a frequency counter? Yeah, I do now. <laughs> cool, cool. So now you can it's take your, to buy more tools, man. Well, oh yeah. So you get a frequency counter, and you can uh, use that to align your your radio. So your you put it in CW mode. You just key it. And you'll get your carrier dead on, as long as everything else is lined up okay. Because they probably didn't mess with the other stuff. They probably just goofed around with that uh, the trimming the crystals in to get it to do whatever they wanted to do. Right. And you put it on a put it on a, a dead on, you know, like twenty eight dot five or something, and and Check it. Just follow the follow the service. That's cool. Which what frequency counter did you wind up with? Um, I got some. I forgot what it's called. Whatever it is, is better than mine. Cause mine broke. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it off of eBay like not too long ago, maybe like a month ago. Cool. It was like less than a hundred bucks. It was like cool. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of that old radio. I'm getting a getting getting a. Getting some mileage out of that thing. I don't know, you know. Eventually, you're going to buy one of these new modern things, and you're going to be totally bored because there's nothing to do but yeah. use it to talk. Well, I did. I did buy. I did buy a, the uh, TS440 with the oh. uh, with the auto tuner in it, and I was like, all right, I'll try this out. While that was like still like down or whatever it was, so I was like, oh, I'll try this. And uh, it's a cool radio. Uh, yeah, but I, I I feel like I'm getting a better sound out of the FT-101 than I am out of the new one, the new nice. one. So, I might still keep going with that. Yeah. It's, it's good to see that thing still running, running, man. Keep at it. Keep keep after it. You know? and yeah. it's, uh, it's fun to see. Frank, you didn't pipe up. I know you got a winter project, Jim. Don't, don't I, have, I <laughs> yeah, 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 funny, funny Kevin. Kevin. Um, no, I, I don't, don't have that many winter, winter projects. projects. It's called Get Back to Work as soon as I can. You had a bunch of like Kenwoods and stuff to program and have fun with that. Oh, that, that, that's that's throughout the whole year at this point. I have another 
banker's box full of TK seven nineties to program up. Uh, well, why don't okay? You have a TK seven ninety, right? Yeah. So the seven ninety has the cool uh, plug, the the DB twenty five on the back of it, or underneath it, or I don't remember. On back. That, and that has those are those pins. You can take that radio and turn it into a super cool node radio if you like to. Yeah, that way you, sure. That way you could, or, because what I'm thinking is, and, and I'm sorry, for, uh, guys, I'm sorry, I'm telling them telling him that's on the air. I'm, sorry, I'm asking for forgiveness right now. Um, you could tie in through the All-Star link, and you would come in through the uh, W6BVR All-Star, and then, I'm going to say it out loud, you'll sound like you're right here in town with us all the time. I have Echo Link. Oh, All Star sounds so much better. Oh, yeah, <laughs> All Star. I mean, you know what? If you do, if you do All Star, you'll sound better than you actually sound. Okay, <laughs> that's how good it is. Kevin, you're, you're, you're All Star actually gives you like a six pack and like pickle yeah. muscles and everything. It, it, it's, it's also a switch switch add on. Yeah, yeah. It's better than this microphone. microphone. Huh? It's better than this microphone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Kevin, Kevin, this is the one I'm usually talking on. It, it, is, is, is it better than this microphone? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's usually about, geez, it's anyway, about that far away. This is my normal talking distance. That's that's why we hear the neighbor killing cats in the driveway <laughs> and stuff. Now, if oh, I want okay. to, I bring it, about, bring it up about here. Now, yeah. It was, yeah, it was uh, two weeks ago. Ham Radio TV did microphones, right? You guys did. Uh, yeah. you did a geek session this last week, right? We did it. Yeah, we did a geek session on um, on bandwidth. Uh, and, and in other words, so you get your super cool, you know, microphone that you used in the band, the AKG, the Sure. I think there's an Audio Technica laying here, or you're talking on a microphone like this and. And you go, man, I need my radio to sound better. So I, now I, now I turn this microphone on. Can you guys even hear the difference on Zoom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so much better. Sounds, yeah, yeah. yeah like, uh, <clears throat> let me get my, okay, this is my radio voice, okay? So the Zoom radio voice, now let me switch. This is the uh, head-worn microphone yeah, yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah that is good. It's horrible. It's horrible. But, well, <laughs> it's clear, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we can hear you, but I mean, it's not super. He can't. Sexy. He can't not, handle. He can't handle it, the word it, horrible. You gotta. You, you gotta like, light it. Be lighter. Yeah, than but that. I just got tired of leaning up. You know, in the microphone all the time. You know, because and and having to have this fake radio voice all the time. It's just. It's really annoying. I'd rather just sit but here with that. With that show that that's you're the playing amazing night, thing. Kevin. But I it, when you when you're using the head mic like that, I keep expecting you to start selling schmo bag, shamu <laughs> rags or something. You know, the <laughs> online TV thing. You know, and 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 what's more, it comes with even more. That's like right. And if you order, that's right. And if you and if and if you order the new ham radio TV adapter for your nine nine one, it comes with a free roll of nonstick tape. Yeah. 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 There you go. Actually, actually, last night I was watching your guys' show with Jason and Kevin, and uh, I think you did put a few dogs down last night with all those tones you were running. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, we we were yeah we hate dogs. Anyways, uh, <laughs> no, I, we we love I love dogs. No, I was trying to do it so you could actually, you know, sit back and kind of get a feel for for what's actually happening, you know. And I didn't want to feed it in through the mixer because it'll be really annoying. So we just tried to get it a little in the background, but was it, was it, uh, was it informative, Greg? I mean, did, did, did it make sense? Oh yeah, it was a great show. It was a great show, dude. I actually, uh, uh, I really enjoyed it, man. Yeah, it was great. I wonder, some I of wonder, it was a little bit, I was, I was, oh, there, my there we go. Some of it, but, uh, yeah, it was great. We put, here's, this is my frozen picture. We put the analyzer up, but I got it turned off right now. So yeah, we just we're just trying to come up with some stuff that's, you know, I mean, Jason did his Urkel impression. He did a very good job. Oh, now you should, you should wear those glasses cool. all the time. I think we're both going to wear those glasses and get white lab coats. I think that's. There I think go. that's. Oh yeah, that's what we get should a, do. Get a little tape right here too when you're doing I, it. Man. I've got the tape, man, right here. There you go. There you go. Right, right there. Oh, we, we, we had, we had fun, I guess. You know, like uh, 
hey, uh, what's going on, Rick? You know, I want to do some ham radio stuff. Can you help me out? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it was fun last night. I, I, I enjoy it. Right now, I, I thought I'd come out and hang out with you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, getting a um, chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot pie. That's what's that's what we're doing right now. Hey, we got a barbecue. No barbecue. I wish we had barbecue, but not tonight, brother. Have you guys but, checked out this? Uh, ever seen this guy, uh, Mister BBI Box Builder Idaho? Yes. Uh, Yes, he's uh, he's doing a pretty cool series right now. He's building an SB two twenty. Yeah, he got a hold of the kit and you know that it hadn't been built, and he's building it out. Oh, it's cool. kind of cool because I've only seen them old and crusty, you know. So he gets he's pretty uh, well known for fixing those things, and I'm unless I'm mistaken, I think he's uh, does a lot of them for eleven meter people, and he did one where he took. The amplifier that uh, Nick has. What's the part number of yours, Nick? SP two hundred one. Two hundred one, yeah. Two hundred one. He he made it look look and perform really good, and then he took the SP two hundred twenty, which has the pair of three dash five hundreds, did the same thing, made it work really good. Then he built a little uh, custom keying thing, which he didn't really go into detail, but it keys both amplifiers at the same time. And he took the CB radio, I don't remember what model it was, but it only puts out like 10 or 12 watts, okay? So this cat set it up. Well, that 10 or 12 watt radio drove the SB201. The SB201 drove the SB220. And he keyed it with the, he, he rigged up a deal to key it. So that 12 watt radio could put out almost 2,000 watts. He has a video on that. And it all it looks like all eleven meter. So you got some cat on there with his eleven meter radio just kicking some serious rear on sideband, man. He's, um, he's, he's an interesting guy, yeah. but he's definitely yeah. a good a good technician. Um, he ends oh, yeah, up selling he, most of this stuff that he builds, you know, but uh, it's worth checking it out. I mean, as long as just uh, Mr. BBI. Check yeah, it out. He's a good dude. I just threw the link into the YouTube, so if anybody's watching wanna check it out, that's right there. So that's awesome. Well, that's a great guy. If you just want to learn electronics and uh, how things work, is Alan Wolke, W-2-A-E-W, W-2-A-E-W. And he just, the guy, the guy's a real engineer. I, th I think he works for, I want to say Tektronics. I don't know if that's correct, but his videos and his, his teaching style is very good is very good i enjoy watching him if you if you want to learn how a diode works he's got it if you want to learn how a mixing circuit works in the radio where two frequencies come in your local oscillator and your mixer and it spits out something else on the other side he's your guy he's he's good we're not we're not we're not going to be doing that he's deep as stuff he's a great guy to watch very good anyways sweet cool. Well, who else we got here? Um, we're getting close to the eight o'clock mark. So, uh, do we want to go around the room and everybody say their their last piece? What do you got, Greg? Um, you know, I kind of uh, went through uh, the kind of stuff I've been working on this week. I uh, I upgraded my node or my transceiver for my APRS, which is super blasting through the neighborhood these days. And then I completely broke my connection to my antenna doing that. So it was a good excuse to uh, uh, to throw it on my all-star and start messing around with that. And I've been connecting around. Like I said, I was uh, babbling in Mike's garage. I think I was probably doing it in yours too, Nick, just connecting to different nodes. Uh, and then uh, I finally today got my uh, rim light. So the, the radio that you helped me with, Kevin, um, finally got on the air today and realized that my Wi-Fi is garbage in the garage and had a bunch of problems there. So, you know, anything that you're building technically, you're always going to see that problem and just something to work through. So, I, you know, it's all good fun for me. You, you expect the unexpected and roll with it. So uh, that's what I'm doing these days. Yeah. 
I'm building a little project. I showed Chris uh, before we started, but this is the start of it. Um, that's a, uh, uh, it's called a, a 49er, which is a uh, little QRP through hole mount uh, transceiver. It puts out about, it'll put about, about three watts. It says it's rated for, I think uh, real, real life testing. It says uh, people are getting about two watts out of it, but I'm going to build a little, uh, little, um, you know, Altoid 10 style radio and see if I can't teach myself a little bit of CW over the winter time. That's kind of my, my long-term goal. And uh, I, I started practicing CW about a month and a half ago. Um, and then I quit because I was so focused on getting my extra license. And then I went back and I like it's one of those things you literally have to do like every day just for a short amount of time to, throughout the day. You can't just go cram it at the end of the week and spend two hours messing around learning it. You have to like you have to like incorporate it into what you do for a period of time. It's, it's really tough for me. I can't even get an all-star note hooked up correctly. So there, there you go. No, I can, but, uh, but that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at for, uh, for my plans for the winter. Um, other than that, just little upgrades in the shack. Um, obviously try to get a little bit better radio for the all-star. Um, got a new mixer I'm going to set up and, uh, that's about it. I think hey, you know, that reminds me, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go, go ahead, Greg. Greg. What do you got, Greg? Oh, no, it's, it's no worry. You know what, Frank? I um, I talk a lot, so please, please go okay. <laughs> I, I think about the only winter plans I have if I have a state furloughed is I have this long pipe between my shack on the second story and where the tower is going to be finally. Yes, Kevin, I know. You just love hearing about my tower. Um. I have to get all the coax put through that and the two power leads put through that still. So when it's not raining and pouring up here in Cloverdale, that's probably what I'm going to wind up doing. Little, little stuff, little, little stuff, but it helps, right? Yep. Sounds like a good project. I still think you should buy a pie and and uh, try your hand at uh, All Star. Because that gets you into a whole bunch of the stuff we're doing. I have DMR downstairs. <laughs> I was showing the guys earlier. Got my, uh, got my pie. Came in the mail. And I, uh, wow. What, what flavor, flavor is it? it? It's a uh, can of can. It's a 3D plus. I was told cool. to be a little cautious about the fours because mm-hmm. they're they have some issues I hear with. The yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So I was reading on some of the the group mm-hmm. IOs where most of the discussion I guess now is for. All star and all the all the different digital modes. So and my video pros are hoping my audio is still working. You're still working. Um, okay, good. So um, yeah, so there's a couple. There's a new version of the Pi Four out, and I think they went to like a version like one four or something. Yeah. But regardless, like it's not working for All Star. So uh, if you have an older version of the Pi Four, it works fine. If you have the three B, it works great. Anything below that, uh, you know, two and up to three. Work great. There's a new version of the four. This whatever reason is they removed like a circuit on there and it's causing some issues. They're trying to do a workaround. I'm sure they'll figure it out. They they you know, got a lot of smart guys working on that. But um, I would not at the moment risk buying a Pi four for if you want to do an all star. Just either stick with a Pi three if you have an older version. Uh, you know, Pi four that's you know you got like I guess before June or July you should be okay. But uh, there's some new stock out there that's that's having issues, um, you know, probably temporary, but I would stick with something else. So. Yeah. My understanding is you can't differentiate them uh, either. There's no real, like, designator um, that tells you which one's which. No, like, not, not when you're buying it, but, yeah. like, once you get it, obviously you can look at it and tell. There's a picture of, like, hey, this there used to be a chip here and now it's gone. Right. But once you're if you're buying it from Amazon or wh- whatever vendor you want to use, like, yeah, there's no way to tell, so... That's yeah. kind of a risk if you're if you're wanting to use it for all stars. So, did yeah. you did you find out, Mike, if um, the issue you're having with the, the using double rim lights was that because of the Pi Four? No, I'm actually using that on a Pi Three. So I think my oh. issue was a uh, you know there's something going on with I think they pushed a new update out on the version we're running, and I think it's having issues, or it could be self induced. I I have some troubleshooting to do. I have some 
something I want to test, like, because we put this out also on Broadcastify um, mm -hmm. or Radio Reference at the same time. So there's a lot of things like Echolink, All Star, DMR, YSF, Broadcastify, all running on one Pi. So in the last month, I upped the bandwidth, you know, on the Broadcastify to, see, to reduce the delay. And mm -hmm. I might have pushed it a little too far. Um, so I've cut that in half. It's still double what it originally was. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have to do some testing to see if that was my issue, but so you've got all those modes running on one pie. I have everything running <laughs> on one pie, three <laughs> B plus. So I know yeah. when I looked at the, when I was, you know, picking out the, um, Linux box for the, uh, D star reflector, um, that was one of the things they first thing they say when they listed it they're like don't be trying to run 10 different modes on the same box they're like make it a dedicated d-star reflector i mean all that other stuff somewhere else it depends on how, how i guess how busy you're expecting traffic to be and i guess how you know i don't know what your 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 linux box i have a capable of but i mean it's, it's honestly powerful. they like, just said it could cause some problems they just said if you, if you try to run different stuff you'll end up with some interferences um because I don't know if it's because they're trying to do some of the same things essentially in the box with like memory or whatever, but they said that, that they didn't recommend it. So, yeah, I mean, like, if I, you're, I did, if you're I didn't. Careful, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no. If you're careful with which ports you're using and, and how you're out, you're doing the audio, like as long as you keep everything separate and you're not doubling over the same, you know, interface, you should be okay. But you're right. Like if you, if you go too far, you're going to run into issues. I think I did with the audio. I think I had a little bit of issue. So, I'm hoping that since I've downgraded the audio on the Broadcastify, not that anybody uses it because I watch it all the time and nobody ever uses it. So not it even the bots. Is. It is what it is, you know. But hopefully, like by reducing the amount, I'm, I, I I I hope I fix my problem. But we'll see. Is it working now, Mike? I mean, here's the deal. You know, like you said, I I I've been texting you back and forth, so I. I say, hey, I think I figured it out, but then I re I restarted uh, asterisk um, and it and it started doing it, and so I changed nothing and I restarted again, and then it was back to normal. So I really think that I'm I might be pushing a limit on that one pie. So that's why I dial I dial back I, some things. So, I, have a, I have an experiment we can. Uh, then I want to ask a Chris a super Chris a question. I have a box. It's like a it's a remote base controller. So imagine a box that has four uh, DB9 connectors on it. So you can hook four radios to it. So we can hook two or three pies to it. So if this pie's job is to do rock solid all-star and echo link, right? And then this pie's job is to do rock solid D star and uh, whatever. And then it goes into this box and then this box feeds the radio now you can have multiple. It's like having, because all in all, 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 all the rim light is, is giving, it's acting like it's another radio, but it's the all star, okay? So we could have several, all -star, two or three uh, pies hooked up to the same, this box, and it, and it manages the traffic between the boxes. That's how we do it on the, on the, on the analog radios up on the sites. So maybe we could use that with a take. In other words, if you, Keep your images, right? But could you here, – here's your homework. If you could make two images, one that had all the bells and whistles for All Star and Echo Link, and just that's it, right? And then the other one had all the ball, bell, bells and whistles for uh, Broadcastify and DMR. And what other what other one is there you want to do? Um, well, I have YSF. He wants to do XLX, which will combine – Honestly, we could get, if we just do XLX like he's talking about, you can combine uh, YSF, DMR, D Star all into one. So I think that's probably the best route. And you put that on a box, and mm -hmm. it, that's what it does. Hey, and all the you know, instead of even putting it on a box, I've I just got myself an AWS account and was going to go uh, drop a uh, uh, Hamboyp image over there and see how oh. it does. I've just I've just configured it over there, and I've heard that it's worked. I've heard of other folks doing it, so yeah, definitely going to give Ham, it a shot. Just let you know, Hamboyp itself doesn't work on because it's Pi only. You have to do the official All Star for that, and that will work. Well, AWS says they will. Uh, they will 
replicate all kind of like VMware. It'll just no. pretend like that hardware is in the background. But I, I haven't done it. I don't. I don't think they do Raspberry Pi. I think they they're strictly like Debian and stuff, which is what all started with the official all started. That was another thing too. The guys that built repeaters that I, I researched this was a year or two ago. They used like a PC, and they used the actual All Star, the Debian, uh, uh, you know, the, the raw Linux software, you know, that they came out with originally. And they took a PC, and the PC it had multiple, literally had multiple uh, DB9 connections on the back, and they pro they put it on the on the computer. And it's a standalone computer, and that was their their controller and their brain. And then they put multiple. Uh, in our case, rim lights on it, and the computer handled the rest of it. But it wasn't done in Hamvoip. It was done in uh, uh, original All Star. Straight, straight asterisk or uh, asterisk. Well, asterisk. It just needs to be the official All Star version. That's the, it. Yeah, it's the official All Star version. Whatever. I've never done. I've never got one of those to work. I've never even tried. I, it. I mean, I did that on this on a really old. Atom processor Intel and it worked. It worked great. I even had DMR up and running before I combined. I've got a, I've got a couple of computers I would I would donate to just to do that. I've got a pile of stuff. We could just come up with something because man, that, that you could actually build a repeater that way if you wanted to. You could get everything up and running. Yeah, yeah we could. Yeah, because you get you know you get about you know four to eight gigs of RAM going. You know, we get and I got most of the processors I have are somewhere between a. Uh, 2.6 and 2.9 gig processors. You know they're, you know, they're uh, what like Pentium fours or something. Yeah, hey, hey yeah. Kevin, that desk, that desk pro you've got in your garage over there will work, dude. Oh, that yeah, twenty year old desk pro will work, dude. You're thinking about you know, Pi, a Raspberry Pi is like 1.2 gigahertz, so like that's oh, like okay. that, so. All right, well hey, we we got we, I got I got junk computers laying around that with 40. 40 to 80 gig hard drives. We just we just wipe the thing clean and do what we want. Yep, easy. Jeez, and I think the only, the only thing that you would see um, problematic there is something like a Pi runs at 5.7 volts or something like that. So it's it sips electricity where some of these old computers uh, could really start to uh, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, drain yeah. on your electricity. But uh, We'll just but run yeah, an extension cord to Kevin's we'll house. We'll be it. fine. We could do that. Well, so my next question Nick. is for, for Sue. We'll just run, just run an extension cord to Kevin's street. house. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. He'll put it in my house. I want to know, Chris, what? So did you get a, a, a super thing or super, you know, thong, whatever? What's that radio you got? It's a super thong. Yeah. Uh, so I was going to do a Motorola. Uh, I had access to, you know, a commercial grade Motorola. I was going to do it right. Um, but, but, but a fellow has to try something new now and again. So. Um, I got one of these fancy, um, uh, what is this? This is the KT8900 by QYT, straight from China. Oh, okay. Um, it's a pretty slick little unit, and uh, uh, does 25 watts, I think. We won't need to run it with that much power in the all-star node. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to give it a go and see if this can't be the next uh, the next uh, hot shot radio for no. – I know, I think you're already running one of these somewhere, Mike, are you? Or did you just test well, it? I've got, like, the 7900D version, so it's a little right. – it's a little upgrade. Isn't that what you got too, Nick? Yeah. Bas they're all yeah. basically variants of, of I think this I think the guts are probably the same. Like mine has a four uh channel display, so you can go between four different ones. But like the connector is the same, like the software is the same, so it's it's for the most part it's like which valve thing do you want? Do you want the UV the five R do you want the eighty two? It's like they're basically the same. Yeah. So one more thought and we 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 gotta get going now. Um, I'm th I'm seriously thinking about setting up a radioless node because Mike's uh, got the VVR connection so solid it sounds so good the way it is now. And only thing the only thing that'll work that good or maybe not even better is to physically hook it to the repeater. And with that said, I'm going to take my radioless node and set up my 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 push to talk button. I have, I'll take the audio out of it and I'm going to run it into my mixer over here. So it comes out my little power, my little power speaker thing. So when Whoa. I un un unmute it, you know, my ready. but yeah, let me ask her, is a uh, chicken pot pie ready? <laughs> oh, oh, but I have to say it right. Don't I? Chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot pie. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Oh, wait, we, we just, just told everybody. Our pockets. You just told the 437 viewers that uh, you're having chicken pox. Right. Marie Callender <laughs> called you? Yeah, but Marie Callender's <laughs> called me. Uh, she, she's in the I house. Love, I love that lady. Don't, Don't tell my wife, Marie yeah. Callender. She's <laughs> awesome. She's <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to use that note. I've already built one. It's out. It's out there. And I'm gonna, it's, a, it's the VLF node. What I'm going to do is hook it up, just plug it into my switch over here. And uh, this microphone, well, I'm going to use the same, the output uh, from here, to f the mixer, to feed the line level input on the node. I'll have an adjustment for that. And then the output from the node is going to come over here. And the only goofy thing is uh, you'll, you'll need to use a Supermon to uh, hook to a different uh, node or something because I don't have a, you know, keypad. But I did buy a very inexpensive uh, touchstone pad uh, from Jinko a while back. And that was going to be so I could just tie it in and just push, you know, pull my trigger and then tie it to a node. Because the, the point of I'm doing that is those of you like Nick and I, I think uh, Justin's probably doing it and um, – I don't know how far Chris is going, but Greg, you'll you'll you'll, you'll all probably want to do it eventually. Now you've now you've got that goofy shack radio out of the picture. So when you key the microphone, your this your cool studio mic audio is going right to the input of your node, okay? Which normally is the audio output of your radio. So if you're can imagine microphone mixer going into a two-way radio two-way radio broadcast over to node radio node radio receives it puts audio into uh, actual rim light the node goes off the internet and we pick it off i'm going to get rid of the little the radio i have to key i'm going to get rid of the receive radio and i'm going to take the audio and go right into it so i'm hoping not this, not Thanksgiving week, but the next week, um, um, I'll have it hooked up. I built it on a board out there, and I think I'm, I'm reasonably certain the sound quality is going to be awesome, and you'll be able to have really good receive audio, and all your problems of uh, studio weird stuff happening mm -hmm. with RF and right here in your shack that'll go away because you're not you're not trying to do that. And then those of you who say, well, gee, I still want to use my node on the radio around. Okay, fine. You buy one of those. I got one right here somewhere. Those little switches, the ones, um, Greg, and I know all you guys will know that. That super cheap switch you buy that has three DB9s on the back, right? Or you get the printer switch. It's an old school uh, serial port switch mm -hmm. or old school printer switch. You get the nine pin one and it's A or B. A is my wireless one for doing studio stuff. B, now it's on the radio and it's set up. You're done. So that's, I think I'm going to do it without the radio and, and see how it works and show you guys what I did. Because, man, that would be really cool. Because right now, for me to use the radio, I'm keying this. And, you know, oh, I'm a camera, but I have a little $10 Kenwood UHF radio I got from the swap meet two years ago and it's going into a, a little dummy load that I got somewhere friend gave it to me or something and then a UHF signal goes oh about 100 feet behind me to the to the link repeater goes in the link repeater comes out two meters shoots up to the hill goes into the two meter repeater the two meter repeater receives it and it goes <laughs> And it goes into the node link, and then everybody hears it. So I will wipe all that out, and it will go directly into the All-Star system. So anybody on All-Star will pick it off. Like, you'll be able to pick my signal off. Like, we'll do, uh, like, tonight. Uh, Nick would could conceivably be the host, right? So we just steer everything. He's a host, and we steer every all of our connections to uh, uh, VVRC. And we're all done because at each how many how many I don't even know how many node connections will handle, but it handle a lot, right? Right. So we can all go directly in, and then our audio will 
quality will skyrocket, and you know that's important, and uh, and the RF problems will go away. And um, and if Frank builds one, uh, he'll be stupid clear into the radio, and that big giant dirt mound I built to block his radio signals will be absolutely worthless. It's worthless anyway, Echo Link. <laughs> well, yeah, Nick, but- uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're well past eight, and that last little diatribe from uh, from Kevin, we lost three viewers, so... Oh, oh no. Take that as a, as a <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give uh, uh, Bert. You know, this, any... isn't, this isn't ham radio TV. We don't have that many viewers to lose, Kevin. <laughs> you know, come on, man. Oh, well, well I'm, I'll, leave, uh, I'll leave the Zoom hey. up here for just a minute. We'll we'll shut down the stream. Um, Bert, do you have anything you want to add last? Um, let's see. I was, I, was ta- I was thinking about what Mike said about the uh, Raspberry Pi 4. Like, I bought one like not too long ago. And then this is before that whole. I even knew about anything like that, so I'm gonna have to look into that because I wanted to do the uh, all star into the into the pie because I tried I tried doing the um, the actual all star into the PC by having like a, a a virtual machine that's running the Linux Debian, and I was like I could get the node to go and I could get it to connect to Mike's um, node and everything, but there was no way for me to ever get any kind of audio out from my computer out to it. And I could never hear IRH. anything either. And so I was like, yeah, I was, he was using the, the Debian. Okay, so I can... Gotta, get, gotta get a soft phone, again. man. If you get that up and run again, if you're running Windows, you can use uh, I, IAX.RPT. There's like a Windows program that you can dial directly into your node or because you'll have to set... And I could send you the info, but like you can use your, your PC mic or whatever, or your phone. You can use your phone and talk into it if you don't want to hook up radio to it. And that's kind of like another way to do it. Like, there's there's a million ways to skin a cat, and Kevin, I think Kevin's got a really great idea to make it like all seamless and less complicated. Uh, there's more complicated ways to do it that I can, <laughs> that, that yeah. I can help you out with. Uh, yeah. So like, yeah, just hit me up on Discord if you want to, you know, uh, try to do some more stuff with that. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like even even earlier when you guys were still on on the air, I was trying to listen to it through the um, through the fusion on the repeater, and I was like. Trying to listen on the on the YouTube at the same time it was like there's such a delay. I was like, I didn't oh, want yeah, yeah. to pee. No out matter what, like you you'll yeah. never be able to do that. But uh, but whatever I'm hearing on my radio is just like it's really garbled, and it's just like I can't. I don't know if it's just my connection to the to my node or whatever it is, but it really sounds robotic-y and, and I couldn't I couldn't make out anybody's voice except for maybe Fred's, and then. Everybody else was like really low, and it just it was hard to. It was well, hard part to of that might might have been our on my end tonight with the with the radio issue too. Yeah, our early our early transmission was really bad. We had a yeah. rough start. Yeah, blame it on blame it on Nick. <laughs> it's okay. Well, you also have to remember the Hoplon machine does interfere a little bit. Well, I kind of went into this whole thing knowing I was gonna gonna screw it up multiple times like in a row before I got it right. So I'm not really oh, too okay. worried about it. <laughs> you guys Kevin, what are we going to do about these guys in that other repeater? Do I need to get the, the guys from the club to pay them a visit or what? Are no, Chris, that's the club? problem is their VVR and not the, the VVR Hopper club, by motorcycle club. No, 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 I, no, I know. <laughs> but both the VVR box and the Hopland box are coordinated. So well, they're not coordinated very well. They're stepping on us and causing troubles when we're trying to be out well, here. Having, having I found, a- I found out, I probably shouldn't say this on YouTube, but whatever. Uh, I found out that the Snell Mountain Repeater, which is 20, 20 minutes away from me in Cloverdale, uh, the county tech owns the machine and went up there in the last month or so and fixed whatever the issue was. So they went from running restricted, you know, low power on the machine to full power again. That's why I come in through Echolink half the time these days because I can't hear the machine from Cloverdale. It used to be it would be like a mixed signal. Now it's as if Mount Vaca doesn't even exist anymore. Do we need more power? More power. Yes, you more do. power. What about Justin? You got any got any final words, Justin? Yeah, I think uh, the, the best thing we can all do is yes, build our pies, whether it's Pi Zero or a Pi B. And yes, Kevin, I think you're on to something of keep it simple. Build a computer, make it all tie together with somebody who has all the RF combined, and then have your little switch to do it. That's absolutely I'll, I'll kiss, like right? That's, 
Exactly. It's yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll make it clean. Going. Well, guys, I, I got to get going. I already talked too much, anyways. Yeah. So, All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna end the stream now. Good. Everybody, uh, everybody, say bye to the hey, YouTube Nick, land. Nick, real quick. Yeah. If anybody's interested, over on the N6 ICW repeater every Thursday at 2000 is NorCal SwapNet. So if you switch Frank, over to the N6 ICW system, it's going on right now. I queued you up tonight, and I said, does anybody want to talk about any other nets or anything else that's going on? And you on? didn't say hey, anything. I, please I was out of the room. room. <laughs> and they totally missed your cue. You know? I, I was out of the room at the time. But yeah, N6 ICW, it's on Mount Vaca, and it's online as well, so... There you go. Hey, Frank. Frank. Yeah. Frank. Wait, what's your, your call sign, dude? Kilo Golf 6 hey, November Lima Whiskey. Kilo Golf 6 November Lima Whiskey. Okay, I got you. Hashtag, hashtag how's my audio. audio. Yep. Well, Chris? I just said hashtag how's my audio. <laughs> it's trending, it's trending now on Twitter. Trending now. All right, of you guys. Uh, we're going to end the stream now. YouTube, you guys have a good night. Thanks for coming out today and uh, and watching our fun. <laughs> hey, you know the good news is we couldn't possibly have done a worse show after this one. Like it's only we can only go up. We can't.